Welcome to My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And we want to say Happy Easter to all you, my subscribers and my viewers. And if you are watching this channel and you have not subscribed yet, please, I ask you to go ahead and subscribe as I try to hit the target of 1,000 viewers. What? This morning, we want to talk about a situation where a teacher from Clarendon has gone missing from when, and we haven't found her, and we want to know what's going on in the country, that this teacher has been missing for so long, and the perpetrators or the kidnappers or the ab abductors are not located, and a teacher of all persons who teaches the children who help to uplift Jamaica, law-abiding citizens who has a valuable contribution to the nation, to nation building has gone missing and we hope that uh, we'll find what's gone wrong in this situation. Hopes are dying to find her alive based on incidents that have taken place over the weekend and we hope that, you know, we're trying to keep our fingers crossed nevertheless and hope and pray to God that she'll be located in good health, even though time is disappearing. But as I read from the Jamaica Gleaner, a massive inter-parish security operation comprising 75 soldiers and police failed to locate the missing school teacher, Nathalie Dawkins, of, a f of or a fleeing suspect during a search of Bellas Gate and Connors community of St. Catherine on Sunday. The two-pronged operation was aimed at searching for the 44-year-old Dawkins who went missing on Tuesday and a target who evaded the police dragnet on Saturday during an operation in Bellasfield District, St. Catherine, in which his accomplice was shot and killed by the police forces. So, the police are tightening their screws, they are closing in. One of the persons who is alleged to be the mastermind behind the teacher's disappearance, he was killed. They were attempting to sell the teacher's car based on what we are hearing and what we are reading. But as the Gleaner said, both men were in possession of the navy blue Toyota Wish motor car owned by Dawkins when the when they killed one of the suspects in an alleged shootout. The des the dead man is still unidentified. So these woodlums took away the lady and whatever they did with her or the teacher clearly they were attempting to sell her, her motor vehicle. The police intercepted them. One of them was killed. Well, commander of Sunday's operation, Superintendent Steve Brown, said the target was spotted in the Bellas Gate area but ran on seeing the police. We gave chase, but the person knowing the area better than the police was able to escape. Brown, who is in charge of the St. Catherine North Enhanced Security Measures Task Force, said the team carried out house-to-house -house operation in Bellas Gate, where the slain suspect and his accomplice have roots. And according to Brown, he said, based on other intelligence, we came to the Connors area and did an extensive search of a wide area of land for the missing teacher. And the police are saying that they are optimistic about their leads. Brown said the identity of the suspect killed on Saturday is still unknown, but intelligence links the two men to crime spanning between St. Catherine and Clarendon border. While the operation was in progress on Sunday, a white Nissan Tida motor car with four men spun around and eluded the police in a high chase in Bellas Gate. Brown said the security forces traveled as far as Rock River in Clarendon but were unable to intercept the Nissan Tida. A search by the police counterparts in Clarendon also came up empty. So these men clearly took away the teacher. These guys might have been watching the teacher for a long time, studying her movements. And remember, when the teacher 
the last time neighbor saw the teacher her car was make her car alarm was going off consistently and they made an alarm to her and then after that they did not they couldn't find her so clearly these guys must must have been tampering with the teacher's car so the alarm would go off and maybe when she came outside to attend to her car they took her away now the sir look how far these guys came from bella's gate in the border to try and take away a nation builder a teacher 44 year old her students are crying without her now classes are online and she's missing from class teachers at the four path um school have conducted searches the jamaica teachers association have also put up a million dollars for her return her belongings were found on the highway in spanish town based on the punish the, the reports from the spanish town police um station now we are wondering what could have caused these men to go and take away this lady take her her belongings and clearly as the day goes on it is clear that hopes of finding her alive is so slim i don't want to call in a judgment and say she's dead but with each passing day and she's not found the chances of locating her is alive is very slim but we can see a search being taken place by the police they have intensified their searches 75 police and soldiers all together trying to locate the abductors the kidnappers the hoodlums who try to destroy this nation consistently by trying to take away and kill and destroy persons who have valuable contribution to this country and we hope that whoever knows these perpetrators will come forward and give the police some former information anybody knows the whereabouts of miss dawkins please contact the police so we can at least come to some conclusion as it relates to what happened to the teacher in this situation i don't know what's taking place maybe they know that this teacher was living alone because i haven't really heard of her having any kids all i'm reading and hearing is that her family contacted her and they, they the, her family tried to contact her and couldn't so these woodlums would have noticed that maybe she lived alone and decided that it, she was an easy target but as i have said on numerous occasions we hope that law-abiding citizens who have any form of clues any form of information just be confident in someone and give the police the information so that we can have at least the teacher at, at least some closure to the situation but don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, take care. Be safe. Look out for the children. Look out for the neighbor. Look out for a loved one. And always remember, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.